several companies have come out and decided to suspend sales in Russia because of the Ukraine-Russian war. I'm going to go over a few of the statements that have been released and give you an update on what has been going on with the reaction to the ongoing situation. As I go over this, please consider hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell. Obviously not great news, but hopefully you do like that I present you with these little news videos every day. So thank you for watching. And again, as I've said in the last few videos, a lot of news coming out about the Ukraine-Russia war, which I do not take lightly. It is a, a very difficult situation to talk about and read about. So I totally understand um, if you don't. If you don't want to watch, I get it, you know. But anyway, we're going to be talking about some of the, the companies that have decided to pull their products from Russia because of the unnecessary war that is happening right now. Uh, basically, Paul Tassi covered off on the big one. Microsoft is suspending all new product sales in Russia, which includes Xbox. And uh, they have been the latest in a long series of companies who have just said enough is enough we're not launching our products in that region anymore uh sad cat studios also released the following statement they said uh, a statement from sad cat studios we are a belarusian studio and we want to make it perfectly clear we are against war we condemn russian aggression towards ukraine as well as belarusian government's involvement in that aggression there's absolutely no excuse for war and suffering which is unfolding right now. Our team has endured the rallies against dictatorship in Belarus in 2020. One of us has been injured, one arrested. Now one of our own is caught amidst the chaos of war, defending his country. And we are incredibly proud to have such courageous people on our team. That being said, we have ultimately decided to focus on the well-being of our team as well as relocating. So that is somebody talking about their situation there. Um, CD Projekt Red released the following statement in the light of the Russian military invasion in our neighboring country of Ukraine. Until further notice, the CD Projekt Group has made the decision to halt all sales of our games to Russia and Belarus. Today, we begin working with our partners to suspend digital sales and cease physical stock deliveries of CG CD Projekt Group products, as well as all games distributed on the good old games platform to the territories of Russia and Belarus. The entire CD Projekt group stands firm with the people of Ukraine. While we are not a political entity capable of directly influencing state matters and don't aspire to be one, we do believe that commercial entities, when united, have the power to inspire global change in the hearts and minds of ordinary people. We know that players in Russia and Belarus, individuals who have nothing to do with the invasion of Ukraine will be impacted by this decision, but with this action, we wish to further galvanize the global community to speak about what is going on in the heart of Europe. To our brothers and sisters fighting for their home country, stay strong. It continues. This was the initial call out from uh, Mikhailo Fedorov, who said, Xbox and PlayStation, you are definitely aware of what is happening in Ukraine right now. Russia declare war, not for Ukraine, but for all civilized world. If you support human values, you should live the Russian market. Now, I know Xbox, we talked about how Xbox has pulled their support. Um, I'm not sure if PlayStation has yet. The IGN collection article says Xbox, EA, CD Projekt, and more halt game sales in Russia and Belarus. Um, I'm sure PlayStation is soon to follow suit and also pledge their allegiance. John Romero also released a new level for Doom 2, and he is taking donations. You can actually purchase this at... Um, over at Romero.com, just any proceeds are going right to the Red Cross and UN Central Emergency Response Fund. I'm releasing a new Doom 2 level for a donation of five pounds. 100% of the proceeds go towards these agencies. Thank you. So we basically made it and it's going right to the fund. Let's click here. So you can see, yep, One Humanity right here. That's the name of the level. And uh, you can download it and play it basically. One Humanity is a new level for the 1994 id software release Doom 2, created by John Romero to support the people of Ukraine and the humanitarian efforts of the Red Cross and the UN Central Emergency Response Fund. 100% of the proceeds go towards this support. One Humanity is Romero's first Doom 2 level since the release of the original in 1994. The .WAD 
contains a readme text file as well as the external mod data. Players must have an original copy of Dune 2, Doom 2, and a modern source port to play One Humanity. And then IGN's collection article talks about how uh, Xbox and EA have formally pulled sales of their games and products in Russia and Belarus, marking more unprecedented responses to the invasion of Ukraine. Basically, everyone is united in just saying, we do not support this. We do not support Russia's aggression. We don't want this to happen. Previously, it was CD Projekt Red. Um, Bloober, all, oh yeah, Bloober team also announced that they are no longer going to be supporting the area. Um, who else? Other industries have taken similar actions in the past few days, including ITA, IKEA, Volkswagen, notably in the tech world. Apple have now stopped selling products and limited many services in Russia. In the film world, Disney, Sony Pictures, Paramount, and Warner Brothers have pulled upcoming movies from release in the country. Since the beginning of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, many parts of the games industry have thrown their support behind Ukraine, including a number of fundraising efforts. And then here's some places that you can donate. Here's a story about Electronic Arts from The Verge pulling their support. Electronic Arts stops sales in Russia. EA will no longer offer games content or virtual currency bundles in Russia or Belarus. Uh, Electronic Arts has joined the chorus of companies that will temporarily stop business in Russia after its invasion of Ukraine. EA will no longer sell content, games, or virtual currency in Russia or Belarus while the conflict continues, the publisher announced on Friday. We have made the decision to stop sales of our games and content, including virtual currency bundles in Russia and Belarus, and while this comp while this conflict continues, EA said in a statement, as a result, our games and content will no longer be available for purchase in our Russian region storefront on Origin or the EA app, including through in-game stores. We are also working with our platform partners to remove our titles from their stores and stop the sale of new in-game content in the region. And then, oh yeah, Bandcamp. I almost did that story, but then I did this collection about companies pulling their products from Ukraine. So... That's just sort of what's happening there. This this conflict, this war is still ongoing. Ukraine is, you know, uh, uh, fighting and Russia is fighting against them. And uh, I don't know, you can go you can go look at about that stuff if you want to go see it. But I've done a few stories about how this is impacting our industry. Our industry is striking back the only way that they really know how to by pulling their services from locations like Russia and Belarus so that. They send a clear message. We do not support this. And Russia is going to be, even if they end up winning, whatever that looks like, um, they're just going to be pretty devastated after this. They're, anyway, I don't want to get into it. But yeah, so that's what's going on with the video game industry, reacting to the whole situation. If you want to talk about it more, you can talk about it more in the comments below. But that is what is happening right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my content, you can hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when these videos go live. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you to the members who support this channel. I appreciate you supporting and watching my content very, very much. If you want to become a member, you can click down there. I am going to right now go figure out how to add a uh, Red Cross sponsorship thing, not sponsorship, uh, donation thing so that we can together raise some money for a good cause also. All right, thank you so much. I'm gonna get out of here, figure that out. And I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.